Let's take a look at this portable coffee grinder from Staresso. This is the Discovery 2 model. It features a stainless steel conical burr, a rechargeable lithium ion battery, and can be adjusted to 48 different grinder positions. The package includes the grinder itself, a USB-C charging cable, a small brush, as well as a larger brush with gentle bristles. The included manual has instructions in five different languages. It's well written with illustrations and includes useful information. On the top of the grinder, you will find the USB-C charging port. It's under a protective rubber flap. And under the charging port, you'll find the battery life indicator and the power on off button. Twisting the body of the grinder unlocks the coffee bean chamber. Here we can see the conical stainless steel burr. Twisting it back will once again lock it together. Let's go ahead and unscrew the cup underneath. This is where the grounded coffee will fall into. It's got a nice non-slip base too. Also, here you can adjust the grind size. The indexed positions are arranged like a clock. You can twist the knob to the left to increase the grind size. Each time you make a full left turn rotation, you have increased the grind size by 12 units. An important note, avoid grinding under setting 4 or you might damage the burr. In the manual you have a grind size recommendations for espresso, star esso, mocha, pour over, and french press. Alright, let's charge the grinder by simply plugging it into a standard USB power outlet. Alright, charging is done. Let's make some coffee. I will be setting it up to grind size 8 for espresso. Now twist the coffee bean chamber open and fill it with some fresh coffee beans. It can grind up to 22 grams of coffee per run. When it's all put back together, we simply press the power button once and it will begin to grind. Depending on the grind size, it can take anywhere from over a minute to just a few seconds to grind and it will automatically turn off once all the beans are finished grinding. As mentioned before, I grinded this coffee to make a nice double shot espresso, and so I'll go ahead and go through my usual preparation to get this coffee ready for extraction. I'm going to use my WDT tool to stir the grinds to reduce the chances of channeling from occurring. I will also use this distributor tool to level the grinds evenly within the portafilter. And finally, I will use the spring-loaded tamper tool to press and compress the coffee grinds. Now we are ready to extract this coffee using the espresso machine. So let's go ahead and lock it in and start extracting. I will definitely need to play with the grind size a little bit to make the extraction perfect. But all things considered, it came out pretty good for my first run. I think this is a good quality grinder and works very well. And I highly recommend it for anyone who needs a solid, rechargeable, portable grinder. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found my video informative.